Okie dokie. We need to try to uh, find our sweet spot. Try to stay around like 10 feet. Close to a drop off, but not so close. We're on a little point, as you can see here on this map. And yeah, just kind of center ourselves up on it. And today's approach is we got to stay mobile. If we're not satisfied with with our spot, we got to we got to keep moving. We got the weather to do it. So we'll start with maybe just a hole for the aqua view and a hole for fishing, and just keep it really simple and. Stay moving around. Last day of pike fishing. We gotta, we gotta get after it. <laughs> Boom! All right, here we go. This is uh, this looks really good. I just have to quickly tie on a leader, and then we will be fishing. I'm not really sure if the aqua view is recording. I've had some issues with saying it's recording but then when I get back and look at the footage there's nothing there so but if it is working then you can see that there's some sparse vegetation with some nice sandy bottom compared to just that matted down stringy looking stuff that we were seeing before or that I was seeing before so yeah I like it uh huh uh huh I like it now we'll go into the box of random junk. It's just something about the tubes and you know it's always good to start with or not maybe not even start with but always to have like that one confidence bait you know kind of your go-to your bread and butter ice fishing when it comes to like pike or lake trout the the white tube jig is always it's always a bait that I can put on and I, I'm confident in and I'm not saying that it's always going to catch fish, but it's uh, it's just a good go-to bait that I prefer to use. It's already pre-rigged with a stinger hook, a uh, nice wide hook gap, nice gushy, gusher-like head. And yeah, for like 369, this can be yours. <laughs> Mission Tackle, not sponsored. I'm not sponsored. Just saying, but if you want to. All right, let's pray that we can see our lure without having to adjust the camera too much. Oh, are you kidding me? How lucky is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that drop off. Whoa! I really hope all this is showing up on camera, otherwise I'm going to look like a weirdo. Sorry, but if this doesn't produce fish, then not, I don't think anything's going to. This is perfect. I'm so happy. So we're also, we're in like 12 feet of water too. So another thing to be thinking about when you're fishing this shallow, which I, you know, sometimes it's easy to forget, but when you're walking or moving around or doing anything, banging around in the sled, it's definitely going to be sending vibrations down below and the fish are going to hear it and not saying it's going to ruin your fishing, but it's it, it could make fishing a lot more difficult. So I always recommend like just get set up, get everything within arm's reach, go to the bathroom right away. Just try to sit down and shut up. I think everybody will have better luck. All right, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna throw on this uh, spoon, more of a casting, trolling spoon, not necessarily a jigging spoon. Not that this is really gonna make that big of a difference, but rainbow, look at that shine. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. What do we got here? Oh wow, holy buckets. Yep, that's a fat gator.
in the face. It's a nice little greasy northern pike. He's not very long, but he is very plump, which is a good sign. Hopefully we can get a giant version of this. Hopefully we get a good view on the camera. Nope, he did not show up on camera. <laughs> he came in with zero hesitation. So we've only had one fish, obviously. I'm gonna go explore another area on this point. I'm just gonna go drill a couple holes, drop the camera down. I, I really wanna find the vegetation mixed in with, you know, whether it's sand or some rock or something. Like, I, I just wanna find the vegetation that adds the cover element for the, the pike. But then I also want, you know, some other stuff around there that would hopefully be suitable for, you know, whether it's perch or other bait fish as well. So just trying to find that sweet spot. Um, and yeah, I think we can do better. I think we can do better than, than this spot. So let's go. I'll be back. Time to go back to the confidence bait. Here comes a fish. Here comes a fish. It's getting bigger. Not sure how big that is. No, that's not a big one. That was not the same fish. Is that a bigger one? Here he comes, he's eyeing it up. Ooh, that looks like a, like a decent one. Looks like he's gonna reset. Not a bad looking fish. Kind of chunky. Looks like a smaller one. That is way smaller than the other one. Just a little size reference. That one's quite a bit smaller than that other one we saw. Which, uh, that's not too bad. That other one, whew, We're gonna get him. Let's get the big one. Got him jacked up. All right, we gotta sweeten the pot. So I have some nice frozen sucker. Thread it on and try to jam it into the tube even. As you can see, just kind of a nice meaty snack. So being how we're on the mine pits, there's special regulations on designated trout lakes. You can't fish two lines on a designated trout lake. Even if you're not fishing for trout, you can only use one line. If I wasn't on a designated trout lake, it would be really beneficial if I was able to set up like an iFish Pro with like a sucker on it, you know, and just keep that in the area. Keep that close to where I'm jigging. Whoa! 
That was insane. Jeez. Felt like I was watching a show when that happened. Ugh, I spit snow into my mouth. He got a hold of that one. Another uh, smaller pike. That was crazy. That was one of your better strikes. Holy buckets. Guess he was probably like mid to upper thirties. Take it. No. We got a little taste of that meat. Are you serious? Try it again. See what happens. Try it again. Boy, I've never seen a pike just nibble on it. Try it again. Are you serious? Shaking so bad. Oh, come on. Are you serious? And now he's going to eat that freaking minnow that fell off my hook? Okay, okay. This guy's looking for an easy meal. So boom, let's give him an easy meal. That's just a big old meat glob. We're gonna make another move. So you can see on the underwater footage how there's all that sand. I kinda wanna be on top of that sand. Cause if that big fish, or if that fish comes through again, I want the option of being able to just lay it on the bottom. Um, yeah, I mean, I can lay it in the weeds and stuff, but then I get snagged in the weeds. And I just think if it was laying more in the sand, it wouldn't be. I'm just going with my gut, okay? Just deal with it. I got to just deal with the move, and it's a nice day, and that's that. <laughs> fish. That's the one. I'm fairly confident that he's going to eat it.
pick it up. I think he just picked it up. No! Oh, I still got him. I don't know if that's our fish, but... Not a bad one. Holy buckets, his belly is so big. I got probably one of the worst hook sets on him. I forgot I left my drag super loose. The nice fat cow. Look at that thing. Oh boy. He's so plump. He's insanely fat for the size of the fish. I mean, he's not a giant, but that's a nice belly. That's awesome. Whew. Pretty sure that was our fish that we were after. All right. Well, I think that's gonna that's gonna conclude today's outing and the 2019 slash 2020 pike walleye season we are going to be heading into march obviously within a week so the whole month of march focus is going to be trout lake trout uh rainbows maybe brown not sure about brown and then potentially some pan fish as well but really want to try to hammer on some trout while uh while the weather is going to be nice so yeah thanks for watching Are the fish...